Hello there guys and welcome to a brand new FIFA 20 career mode with Everton and today like I say we're going to start this and I'm so excited for this one. Uh, I've been waiting since the end of the Napoli career mode to start a new career mode. Now this one I've been planning for a little while but I decided to just have a little bit of a break first then get back into it so I can just absolutely smash this career mode out because I'm looking forward to it so much. So if you guys do enjoy today's video don't forget leave a like down below and hit the subscribe button if you are new around here to see more videos like this so first things first i've done a few things just to you know gradually get us into it a little bit without having to go through it all uh step by step so i think what we'll do with we'll start with the team then we'll go with who I put up for sale who I put up for loan uh, so on and so forth and one thing i've also done uh, for this career, this career mode is i've disabled the first summer transfer window just because i didn't really want to not ruin it but obviously everton have made a few signings in the summer uh well the, obviously the past summer um, so I didn't feel like buying any more players was ne was necessarily important. So we're just going to go with the team we have and then come January, if some players don't play too well or I don't like the feel of them, uh, then we'll sell them, get a replacement in and we'll move onwards. So uh, I've gone with a 4 3 3. I've gone with Calvert Lewin, Richarlison and Bernard up front. That's what I believe our best front three is. Obviously, Moise Keane will come in at some points and swap with Calvert Lewin. Same with Awobi, he will at some points come in. And swap with either Richarlison and Bernard. And also I'd like to see Richarlison at striker maybe some points as well. So at Cam I've got Sigurdsson. He'll swap out and swap with Awobi. Uh, then at CDM I've got Davies and Gomez. Just because I want to see Davies overall grow. Because one thing in this career mode that I probably like the most about it. Is a lot of the young players we do have. I've got either a game face in the menus. Or either a game face in game as well. So... One thing I want to do in this career mode, one thing that's important for me, uh, is to grow a lot of the youth players. So Davies, Holgate, uh, Calvert-Lewin, you know, a few of the centre-backs as well. Gabamin, which is, uh, not, oh yeah, Gabamin, but uh, Beningami, sorry, who's a CDM. So growing a few players like that, that have actually come from the Everton Academy itself, uh, it'd be really nice to have them grow. So I've got Davies and Gomez there, then Luca Dean, Sidibe at left-back and right-back, and Amina and Holgate. Playing Holgate just because I believe he will become a better player than Keane. And like I say, Keane will just come in when needed if these two ever get injured. And obviously Pickford in goal. So, like I said, a sub bench pretty much um, what I've mentioned already. Keane, Awobi, Walcott. Walcott, a player I want to sell. But I'm just going to, like I say, keep him for now. I'm not too sure if I transfer listed him, actually. Um, but I just want to see how he does. Obviously, with him being 30 years of age, I would like to move him on. But depending how he does... You know, for the start of the season, um, we'll decide if I sell him or not. Gabamin, we haven't really seen him in real life just because he's injured. So hopefully in this game he won't get injured and I can actually use him and play with him because he's almost an 80 overall already. Then we've got Keane and Coleman. So just a few of the reserves, like I say, a few to mention as well. You've got Ellis Sims there, a player who I've put in training because I want to train him up and use him. 18 years of age, Anthony Gordon, another player as well. I want to train up and use him eventually and get him into the first team. Uh, Beningami, again, another player got him in training. Would like to see him in the first team. And then Lewis Gibson and Ryan Astley, I've got them two in training. Um, the reason why I've trained in these two and not Morgan Feeney and Matty Falls, just because these two are a little bit older, 20 and 21. So I put these two up for loan and then I put these two into training just because I believe they'll reach a higher overall. Uh, then them two, and then obviously we've got Leighton Baines as well, who will be good backup for Luca Dean. So. A quick look through now the squad hub and see if I can remember right now if I put Walker up for sale. So obviously we've got Jordan Pickford. He's going to stay our number one goalkeeper. Stecklenburg, I've transfer listed him just because he's 36 years of age. And obviously we've got uh, Jonas Lossell now who is 30. So we've got another five or six years of him and his high overall as well. So I don't really feel the need to keep Stecklenburg. Luca Dean, he's fine. Luke Garbett's already out on loan. Leighton Baines, obviously rotation. Uh, Matty Folds and Morgan Freeney, them two are both loan listed. These two are going to stay and, like I say, get trained up. Um, the, the other centre backs are just going to stay. There's no problem with them. Sidibe, he's on loan at us at the moment from Monaco. So if he does well and I feel like he plays well, I most likely will sign him. Uh, Coleman, great backup as well. Most likely play a few cup games here and there. Kuko Martina, I put him up for transfer list. Never going to use him. Uh, Gabamin, obviously, keep him. Beningami was going to send him out on loan because of his age, but then I thought, well, I can train him up and possibly get him to a 
73, 74 rated before the season ends, hopefully with some game time as well. So then he'll be ready to start in the starting 11 next season, hopefully. Delph just come in, going to be a great player in some cup games and can play left back as well. Snyderlin, now this was a bit of 50-50 one. I was going to transfer list him, and then I wasn't, then I was, then I wasn't. But I thought with his age and everything, and like I say, been in me, with me wanting to get him into the starting 11, I'm going to have to get rid of a CDM at some point. As you can see, we've got five. So I've decided I'm going to sell Snyderlin, hopefully get a good price for him, and just move on. And Awobi, like I say, he has got that special something, as it says. So he'll play, like I say, some games at left wing, and then some games at cam. Same with Bernard, I'd like to see him at cam sometimes, maybe. But he's definitely staying. Davies, definitely staying. You can play centre mid, cam and CDM. Hopefully get his overall up to an 80 before the season ends. Um, Anthony Gordon, like I say, going to train him up. Hopefully get him into a decent 60s before the season ends. Uh, Sigurdsson, definitely keep him. Um, and then who else? Walcott. So, okay, I didn't transfer this Walcott. I didn't think I did. I just want to see how Walcott does. Because even in real life at the moment, the last few games, he actually turned into... When I say turned into... Like when we bought him, he was sort of decent and then he dropped off and then sort of as of recent, he's sort of come back into the limelight and sort of proving he is, you know, a decent little player for us. So I just wanted to play him this season, see how he does and then most likely move him on at the end of the season. Just hopefully he'll help us for this season alone. Uh, Richarlison, going to be our star player and like I say, play him on the wings and at striker. And then we've got Tosin, transfer listed him with Moise, Moise Keane. I don't see the need for these two. Uh, Tosin and Nias, so I'm just going to transfer list both. And then Calvert-Lewin, he's definitely going to stay and play. And the same with Moise Keane. And then the last player here, well, last two players, sorry. A um, little bit of a 50-50 between these two. Ellie Sims, I was going to loan him out. Then I was going to loan uh, Mam Mampala out. But I thought, you know what, I'll train Ellie Sims just because I feel like he'll rele uh, release, uh, get to a higher overall. Plus, it's got showing great potential, so... Mampala is just going to go out on loan. Hopefully, he'll still grow in overall as well. So, that's what I've done with the team. That's sort of the formation we're going to go with for this season. So, I've accepted uh, the pre-tournament invite as well. So, I'm just going to simulate that. I'm not going to play that at all. So, I'm going to simulate it, see how we do. And if we get into the final, I might just play it. But if not, um, for the start of this career mode episode, I'm just going to get straight into the games in the Premier League. We'll have a look at the calendar actually now and see who we do play first, which is Crystal Palace. And in real life, we drew against them. I do believe nil-nil, or it was 1-1. I think nil-nil. So, it would be good to get off to a winning way. It is away from home, so it's going to be tough. But like I say, not a less. Hopefully, we get away with a win. But I'm just interested to see how we do in the preseason tournament. The team that I've got lined up in the moment is sort of the starting 11 team I'm going to go with for the season. So, I was going to put a few more younger players in. But hopefully, we get to the end. We get some extra money for January if we do need to make any more signings. So, without further ado... I'm going to go ahead and sim this pre-season uh, pre tournament and get back to you guys when it's over. So then guys, we're back after I simmed it. Unfortunately, we didn't reach the final. We got knocked out in the semi-finals against Dortmund 4-0. So obviously, we've got a lot of work to do. We want to be beating teams like Dortmund. I didn't think we'd reach the final, but I just thought it'd be nice. Bit of extra cash. But one thing we didn't run through was the board expectations and also some of the emails I've just received uh, from that simulation so if we go through some of the objectives here you can see two of them there are just money ones that will most likely do just from finishing in the premier league anyway uh, you can see the bottom one there is to qualify for the europa league which i do think is possible uh, the next one is the youth development they want us to bring in oh no so not bring in they want us to grow one youth academy player by at least 10 overall points and then as soon as they have grown played them in 10 matches either as part of a starting 11 or coming on as a sub now, we had this one in Napoli Carimo, which I found pretty frustrating. But I am going to use the Youth Academy, so maybe this is something we will complete. Brand exposure, like I say, just more to do with money. That top one, you can't really complete. You don't really have any sort of, like, control over it. Uh, Continental, qualify for the Europa League, which I think is doable. And then the Premier League, finish in the Europa League spot, which I think is doable. And then they reach the round of 16 of the FA Cup, which, again, I think is doable. And then Financial... Like I say, I believe that's just possible from finishing in the Premier League anyway. But anyway, let's have a look through some of these emails and what we have received. So, the first few emails were nothing important, as you guys know. And then just a suspension, but that was in the tournament. So, the first one here, Sigurdsson out for six weeks, which is not great at all. Now to play Awobi at Cam. 
I think at the moment that's my idea. And then tournament prize money there, 1.8 million. Transfer offer for Tosin from Wolfsburg. And a few other transfer offers here, which is good to see. Uh, we can get, we can get 8.7 for him. So I'm just going to delegate that and see if I can get 10. If I can get 10.8, that's great. I'm going to just accept that and hopefully we can get a good deal for him. Cuco Martina, uh, they've offered a million. I can get a million and 50,000. So I'm just going to accept that as well. Stecklenburg, 390. That's more or less around about the asking, well, not asking price, but what I can get for him of 400,000. So I'll accept that. And then that's just about the performance. Prize money, another 2.7 million. And like I said, the two other transfer offers there. So nothing too important. Like I say, I've um, not done the summer transfer window just because I wanted to see how these players would do. Uh, we're going to swap this out here now. Put a Wobie at Cam. I'm going to have to put Sigurdsson on the bench. Who's going to come on in his replacement? Um, I'm thinking... Um, oh, it's a tough one. It is a tough one, actually, because I want to replace him with another Cam. So I'm thinking Anthony Gordon. Uh, he's only 59 rated, but he could just do a job for us. I don't know. I want Delph, but that'll be two CDMs on the, you know, on the bench. So that's not great at all, really. So I think we're going to put Anthony Gordon there. It only makes sense. Now, he is a young player. Going to get some game time early on, possibly. Obviously, if Awobi gets injured or gets tired in a game, we'll see. But uh, without further ado, let's simulate now through to the first game against Crystal Palace and get into that game. So here we are, guys, about to go into the Crystal Palace game. Now I'm just going to catch you up on some of the players that have sold, some of the deals that are still waiting to go through. Uh, so if we go through here on, you can see Tosin sold. But if we go on to this transfer, we go straight to the transfer hub. So, three players that we sold. Tosin went to Wolfsburg for 7.5 million. Pretty decent, not the best, but managed to get rid. Uh, Nias went to Burnley for 2.8 million. Way below his value, but I'm just happy to see him go, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, Kuko Martina, another player, he sold for a million. So I'm happy for that. Stecklenburg, another offer came in for the same amount. Uh, as you can see here, you can see both have been accepted, but still not been sold just yet. Uh, Schneiderlin, an offer from Milan and into Milan for him. So what I did is I just delegated an offer, tried to get the most for him. And then Milan came back with an £8.5 million offer. So I accepted that. And you can see the one with Inter Milan is still ongoing. So still not sold yet. Uh, but it's good to see three players out the door already who I will not be using at all. So let's get into this game against Crystal Palace. We're going to go into the press conference here. And it's nice to see the Premier League background there. Because that's something we didn't have in the Serie A when we played with Napoli last career mode. If you guys have not seen it, um, I did a career mode with Napoli. So we didn't have all the background effects, unfortunately. But now we do. And uh, it's great to see. But let's have a see how our first press conference goes. So how does the preseason impact the squad ahead of their first competitive match? I'm going to go with, uh, we're working hard every day and we should be able to get the win. Is securing a Europa League position at the end of the season achievable? I think it is. Um, so I'm going to go with, were threats other teams aiming for it? Or the pressure is on? Mandatory? I feel like I would go with that. I feel like if I don't get it... I'm pretty annoyed. So I'm going to go with this. We're threat to other teams aiming for it, which we are. Other teams like Wolves again, obviously uh, West Ham. Uh, Leicester you could possibly say, but I don't know how they do in FIFA. Uh, why do you stick with Charleston? Even if, what? I'm guessing that's saying he's not in good form. Uh, why, do you, why do you stick with Richarlison? Uh We must play to regain sharpness. We're in a, he's in a rough patch. We'll go with that. Now, obviously, I didn't play the preseason tournament. I just simulated it, so I'm guessing he didn't do too well. But um, I'm sure he'll do well in this first game for us. He's a good player. But anyway, let's get into this game against Crystal Palace. I'm excited. I've been waiting so long for this career mode. I made the thumbnail for it ages ago. I hope you guys like it. Uh, we're going to go with our orange kit, I do believe, today. And let them play in there. Um, let's just let them play in the home kit. It shouldn't matter. But like I said, I've waited for this career mode for so long. I'm looking forward to it. hope you guys enjoy it as well. Without further ado, let's get into this first game. Hopefully, get off to a win. So here we are into this game. Now, it's going to be a tough game, this one. We've got Zaha on the wing, a player who we did try and sign uh, in the summer, but Crystal Palace weren't having any of it. And to be fair, for the fee that was going around and his age, I was pretty glad we didn't sign him just because I just thought, you know, the 78 million, 70, 70 to 80 million, sorry, they wanted... Was, you know, I could, you can't blame Crystal Palace for wanting that much. But I'm just glad we didn't sign him for that much. 
So, um, like I say, he's going to be a tough player to play against in this game. And this career mode is going to be a challenge as well, just because obviously we don't have... Where we go? Calvert-Lewin. Uh, okay, play it out. Oh, we couldn't play it out wide there to Bernard. But uh, it's going to be tough because obviously we don't have all the overalls that we did last career mode. Obviously, we had uh, Marlon up front, 90. You know, just I think the whole team was like 85 rated plus. So, with this team, it's going to be a work in progress, which I like. It's a, it's a different challenge, so... You know, it's going to be something to enjoy for the seasons ahead. So here we go. Palace on the attack here. I can see a cross coming in. Trying to close it down before they let it away. Okay, it's through. Pickford. Oh, Pickford, man. Did a great save there first, but unable to keep it. And Palace are ahead now, 1-0. Just before half-time as well. You can see there, the two minutes added on. And so frustrating. You can see here, trying to close it down. But I just couldn't seem to get the ball. Shot away. And then on the rebound, of course, on the rebound to get the goal there to make it 1-0. Not the best of starts for us so far. Hopefully we can improve it in this second half here. But I'm just about to mention how not much has happened. They've had probably the best attacks of the game. Uh, we haven't had too many. Trying to get over the top balls to Calvert-Lewin. Uh, it doesn't seem to be coming off at all. But there we go. We go into the half at 1-0 down, which is um, not great at all. Uh, there's the other half-time scores. You can see Watford down well to Brighton. So, anyway, we're going to go to the second half here. Hopefully, we can improve and get ourselves a goal. There he is. Zaha has got around the defence. And there he has it. He's made it 2-0. And, again, another hard player to close down. I was doing everything. Basically, running rings around him, trying to get the ball. And I just couldn't get the ball off him. As you can see there, he's fired it into the back of the net. Making it 2-0 for Crystal Palace. And things aren't looking great for us right now. You can see here, I, well, before that clip itself, I'm trying to get the ball off him, but I can't. Played a 1-2 there, and he's managed to fire it past Pickford and make it 2-0. There we go. I'm going to try to get on the counter attack here. Send Bernard down. He's got the pace to get past all these, surely. Come on. There we go. Pace is showing through now. Get a little chip in. Head it. Come on. There we go. 2-1. Calvert-Lewin for the first goal for us of this career mode. An important one as well. Hopefully we can bring this back and just get the draw. Um, like I said, the first, what, 50, 60 minutes of this game has been awful for us. And now you see Bernard pace down the wing. Calvert-Lewin getting around the defender there to get the head and managing to bring ourselves a goal. I've got it on um, team press right now on the tactics. Just hopefully try and recover the ball a little bit more. Because uh, I don't know if you guys noticed at half-time, hardly any of our players, hardly any of the... Um, Stamina levels were, like, low. So, obviously, our players weren't working as hard as they should be. So, hopefully, they can now and just win this ball back and get another goal. There we go. Bernard again. Another cross coming in. A Wobi and a Ziff. Didn't get to his head. Could have almost made it 2-2 there. Not many, much time left in this game. Can we win this ball back here? No. Okay. Never mind. Uh, players all over the pitch right now. Davies having to come in right back. Um, I don't think we're going to get the other goal in this game. Towsend here. Great pace. Unable to catch up with him. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Gomez has won it back. Bernard make another run. And he has. There we go. Bernard is through. Come on. Come on, Bernard. Play it across. Come on, Richarlison. There we go. 2-2. Two -two. Thank God. Rescued ourselves a point in this game. And there was a great pass there from Bernard. I didn't think he was going to pull it off. I don't know why I didn't think that. But you can see here. Look at this now. Played the pass across. And Richarlison there. And that's Calvert-Lewin and Richarlison with their first goals in the Premier League this season. Possibly could have made a few subs this game. Maybe would have changed it. I was going to bring Walker on uh, for Bernard at one point for the pace. But I thought Bernard's pacey as it is. So pretty pointless of a change there. Uh, just got to protect this now. Can we get another goal here quickly? Here we go, Bernard. Here we go. Come on. Don't blow it yet. Don't blow it yet, ref. Come on, Bernard. Keep running. Keep running. The cross is coming in. There's no one there. Oh, the goalkeeper just hit it away anyway. And the ref's surely going to... Yeah, the ref ended it there. And the game ended 2-2. Two -two. A lot of goals in this game. But unfortunately, only able to come away with one point in our first game. But it could have been a lot worse. We could have, you know, ended the game with no points at all. 2-0 down as well. Uh, you see, lucky from us there, really. Two shots, two shots on target. Uh, they had six shots, four on target. And they had a lot more possession and uh, that's what I was trying to say as well. You could just tell they were in control of the game. And they, rightfully so, were ahead. But uh, on the counter-attack twice, we got the goals which we needed. Bernard, two assists. Crucial on that left-hand side there. 
became important for us today. But anyway, into the post-match interview. What have you got to say to us? Let's have a see. So, is the draw on your debut at Everton a good enough result to please you? Well, we were away from home, so I'm going to go with this season is a marathon, not a sprint, which is so true. Uh, we've seen that with the Napoli career mode. You've got to, you know, do this week in, week out. Luca Dean is paid off. He played well today, to be fair. He needs to keep a rhythm going. This is beginning for Dean. We're going to go with that. And as well today, Zaha scored. Uh, scored. Well, he did score, yeah. But uh, he was such a problem to play against. Was Richarlison's performance enough? I'm going to say praise because he played fine. I think it's just the preseason tournament that has obviously put these questions into the reporters' heads to ask. Um, like I say, Zaha there was just so tough. He sort of plays on the wing, but then sort of plays centrally as well. He sort of tries to link up all the forwards together and sort of just link up all the play um, for them. And he does that well, to be fair. Uh, you can see here, we're now seventh after the first game. Obviously, not all games have been played, but we've got the points, which is important for us, at least to get some points to start this. As you can see there, Snyderlin has been sold as well. So that's another player sold. That's some more money brought in. Let's see who he got sold to and for how much. So he went to... Milan for eight and a half million, so we got seven million in return into our transfer budget. So as you can see there, we've got fifty-six point seven eight million in a transfer budget to use in January if needed. And right now, obviously, I don't know where to improve. The team feels fine, but obviously, as the season progresses, we'll know which uh, which players need replacing. But anyway, to end today's first episode, we're going to play against Watford here at home. Hopefully, get the three points in this game. Uh, we should do. We're going to go with a blue kit. Because we're at home, and let's get into it. Here we go, Wobi. Can he make it 1-0? One ourselves a corner there, though, I do believe. Has that gone out for a corner? And it hasn't. Okay, goal kick. Um, but uh, getting off to a good start there. Three minutes in, chance on goal. And uh, here we are at Goodison Park, our first game here of the season. And like I say, it'd be crucial to get off to a good win, and it'd be crucial to keep a good home record this season. But saying that, Watford are through here, and he's worked it out wide. He was through on goal there. Sidibe should hopefully be able to tackle this. Okay, cleverly. Cross in. I was going to bring Pickford out for that. Good job I didn't. And Gomez unable to get it away. But he did block the shot there. Great from him. Uh, here we go. Davies. I can, I can see Bernard there making a run. Is he going to get to that? He might still be able to get to this. And he can. Okay, he's still got it. He's still... Oh, okay, tackling. And he's played it out for a throw in, unfortunately. Here we go. Luca Dean. Can he get it across? And I can see Awobi. Oh, Calvert-Lewin could have possibly got on the end of that, but he didn't. Sidibe come up from the right-back spot. Got a cross in, and it's blocked. Can he keep it in? And he can't. Well, he did, sorry, but it went to a Watford player, and they've kicked it out for a throw-in. Here we go with Charleston. Played it to Davies. Can we get it in the box, at least? I can see Calvert-Lewin, but he's not really in space. Here we go. I'm able to get it to him, and I can. Oh, okay, he's still got it. Go for the shot, and did that deflect? I've got a feeling that deflected. Surely it did. And it didn't. Okay, so that went out for a goal kick. Never mind. There we go. Calvert-Lewin in the box. Go for the shot. Come on. There we go. Smashed it in. 1-0 up already in this game. 30 minutes in. What a great start to this game. I've had all the attacking chances. Watford with a few. They had one early one uh, with Tom Cleverley. Almost scoring what Pickford came out to pick the ball up. Like I say, this game, mainly us. Going down the left-hand side here with Calvert. Managed to cut back in. Smashing it in. One of our favourite sort of signature goals, you could say, uh, in the Napoli career mode. You know, go in, cut back on yourself, and then go for the shot. And it's worked out this time for Calvert-Lewin. And we're 1-0 up. There we go. Richarlison, can he make it 2-0? Unfortunately, unable to. We're in the second half here, looking for that second goal of the game. Because uh, I feel like if we're able to make it 2-0, I want to bring Moise Keane on. Just to get a feel for him, see how he plays, see what his strengths are. Because I, I, I don't believe his strength is pace. Obviously, he's got some pace, um, but that is Calvert-Lewin's sort of strength there, pace. But uh, Moise Keane, I feel like he can be a little bit more of a bully up front. Here we go. Richarlison. Oh, Ziff. Couldn't get the ball through to Richarlison there. And uh, like, I still want the second goal as well, just to put the game to bed. A little bit worried here that Watford will bring one back. Just got to defend well and not get too carried away. No way. No way. Oh, thank God. I thought Watford were going to score there. Cleverly getting through a lot, actually. I'll be interested to see what sort of formation they're playing uh, because he seems to be almost like a second striker for them. Uh, well, he's just gone off. Andrew Gray is coming on. Um, but like I said, he's come forward quite a lot this game. 
Um, getting through on goal. Had a few shots himself. Uh, but not long left here. Here we go. Charleston played it down. Sidibe get a cross in. And he can. But uh, too close to the goalkeeper there. No one really going to get ahead on that. Uh, didn't bring Moise Keane on. Just because we're still one nil, only 1-0 one up. Um, I didn't want to sort of bring him on and have the chance. You know, I sort of only wanted to bring him on if we're in sort of like winning. Definitely winning. Um, now, you could say we are towards the end of this game. But um, you can see here, they're still on the break. Gabamin's come on for Gomez. Fresh set of legs there in the middle. Uh, which is needed, this game. Oh, here we go. Calvert-Lewin. Can we get it over the top again? We can't. Okay. Gabamin. Get that pass there to Wobi. Go for the finesse. Wow. That wasn't the best of finesse shots, I'm going to be honest. I thought it was going to be better than that. I don't know how far away it was. But the game has ended there. 1-0. Got ourselves to three points, which was important today. I'm glad today's episode we got off to a... Not got off to a draw, but I'm glad we haven't lost, is what I'm trying to say. We got off to a draw away from home. And then we got ourselves a win at home, which is nice. Any other games that stand out there? Crystal Palace drawing with Sheffield United. Uh, Newcastle 1-2-0 uh, against Norwich. Which I'm sure in real life Norwich won that game as well. Uh, I don't know if I ran through the training with you. But like I said I picked these players. Just because I feel like these players are going to hopefully come into the starting 11. Plus they got game faces as well which I like. Um, but we will set up the scouting system at some point in this career mode. Uh, but these players are here. That are here in this right now. Uh, not necessarily going to get game time. Gordon might now with Sigurdsson out. Um, but them, them lot there will definitely get into the starting 11 at some point. But anyway, that is going to be the end of today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. We're going to be releasing more of this every day. Um, but this is how the league, league table so it looks. And if you can see Bournemouth at the top. Manchester City in second. Liverpool in third. Arsenal in fourth. And then we fall behind in fifth right now. So don't look too bad. Spurs in sixth. United in seventh. Any other standout? Where's Chelsea? Okay, so Chelsea in 16th at the moment. But they've only played one game. But they lost their first game. And uh, Aston Villa, Southampton and Norwich make the bottom three at the moment. So, without further ado, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, don't forget, leave a like down below. Hit the comments. Leave a subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, sorry. And I'll see you all next time.